And welcome back to episode 2 of uh, Not Tonight 2. Uh, we are on the way to Montana by Seattle. And we're gonna go to Seattle here. My mom's car is slow, but reliable. I topped up the gas and on the way out of town. Gas to Billings, Montana, 100 for one day. Wow, that's expensive. Off we go. Montana, passport, Miami, easy. Boom, 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 boom. By the way, I put um, non-copyright music, so if you hear the music and it's different, it's probably that's why. Hey Kev, I'm getting someone from Mapo to call you. Hey Kenya, what's Mapo? They can help you as they, you travel. Okay, I guess. So, what the fuck is a Mapo? I have only, I only have one song, which is this song, Damon Shepard, House One. Um, when America went down the dream, can do souped in to save Montana. Wow. So getting there meant crossing the border. I rolled up a border controlled officer and prepared for the interrogation. What's the reason for entering the country? Uh, here to work as a bouncer. Bouncer man, eh? Got any ID on you? <coughs> Here's my bouncer ID. Nothing. Wait, what? Oh uh, no! Oh man. I didn't use the right one. Fuck. I'm sorry. My bad then. My bad guys. The right answer was um my right the right answer was the Canada um thingy. The Canada ID. Hello? Hello, and thank you for signing up for Mapo. I didn't. Who is this? I'm your Mapo account manager. You're now subscribed to a very exclusive drone reward program. I don't understand. Our mission at Mapo is to re establish liberty in America. However, it's extremely dangerous to travel actually right now. <coughs> no one is actually that stupid. I mean, brave. So, can you sign you up? All. Send you all up for a free trial. So can you sign this up for what? Spam calls? Complete Mapo quests at each location, then you'll get a reward. Like quests in a video game. Ha! <laughs> it is a video game. This is no video game. Completing Mapo quests will boost your health, morale, and even your wallet. Unsubscribe! <coughs> Mapo quests will be delivered to you on arrival in each location. Complete all quests in a location for a special reward. The line went in. I drove on. Why did Kenya give out our information? Possibly to aid in the um, quest, I guess. I don't know. Oh, sorry, I didn't read the last one. Hey Kev, how's the how's the trip? Been low key looking up on any food spots along the way. Dang, sand pics. I'm on the way to Cisco. You, Montana. Okay, stay safe. See you in Miami. Well, well, well. I kind of want to go back and do the thing again, but uh, I made the mistake already. Billings was discovered in knee deep snow. I took in the view, a sky so wide it stretched clear to the horizon in all directions. It was also freezing. I need to get something warm to wear. First the passport. How would I find Eduardo's mother? I asked the first person, first person to pass by. Excuse me, I'm looking for someone. My friend, Eduardo Suarez used to live here with his grandmother. Do you know her? Beats me, try asking Winifred at the Grizzly. She knows everyone. Where's that? You not from here, boy? No, but I'm half Canadian. Well, aren't you special? Tell you kind that of we're not done with Canada. We're still Americans here, not communists. Yeah, I can tell you where the grizzly is. For a price. Here's 10 bucks. The grizzly is now called the Mountie. I get it. Canadians, eh? Bunch of no good syrup guzzlers. They can take their metric system and shove it. <laughs> yeah, totally. Head to the U Valley. Can't miss it. I backed away quickly. Oh man, my money is going down, down, down. There's an opening at the bounty. I'll take the job on bouncer. 
Okay, well. Uh, bouncer shop automated message follows. New hands in stock. Check bouncer shop tab. Alright, Mer. Marie. Yes, he seems okay so far. I'll get him to message you. Good luck, okay. Malik says you're in Montana. Yep. A friend of mine is traveling across North America. She's on something called a gap. Yeah. What the hell are gap yas? Some kind of pilgrimage. If she says hello, look after her. Not likely. I will see her. But okay. Local news. Citizens continue to reap the benefit of Canadian rule in Montana this month. In the 16 months since Canada annexed Montana, its population has enjoyed free healthcare, better education, and no numerous other benefits, making the alliance's play to get Montana back even harder. Canada has stepped up its efforts to impress all as impress as all citizens will get free poutine at all uh, entertainment establishments. The put in to help out scheme is marked as the first of many to celebrate Canada. Some teens outside Chief's Chicken Shop stated how great this was. What? Hell yeah, Canada. Poutine is God here. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Okay. Hello, dear. You're the bouncer for tonight? Yep, I'm Kevin. I'm surprised you need a bouncer for a cozy diner like this. The Putin relief has caused a few issues. Everyone gets free poutine at the door now. Take the poutine and match the sauce to the bowl color. I can do that. Also check ID's expiry date and no one under 21. Alright, so probably drinks here as well. Uh, I thought it was 18 or 19 in Canada. Used to be. Quick question before I started my shift. Do you know anyone with a grandson named Eduardo Suarez? Uh, probably. You know Eduardo? That's my grandson. But, oh, but you're, uh, white? Yeah, Can in, uh, Eduardo's a quarter Montanan. Well, that's an interesting, uh, tree line. Uh, you know, like, family tree line. Hold on, I'm just gonna deal with something, sorry. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, maybe adopted as well, I don't know. Makes it even stranger that the martyrs grabbed him. Okay. Martyrs? Oh no, my poor Eduardo. I told him ne not to leave Canada. We'll have to talk after we close. Okay, so we're gonna start the Putin one in a while. So, uh, it's interesting because... I played this one in the demo and it's a bit hard because of the whole yellow red green thing um, so let's go alright let's start I want to get year, a gap yeah, a sabbatical, a year of life affirming travel and personal growth. But it's turned into a year of survival and a dystopian nightmare. America, huh? No England, but I escaped and I'm heading to Orlando. Can I get some Putin? I haven't eaten for days. Oh, this is another, um, uh, like ethical quandary. Like, do you let her in? Or do you not let her in? I'm gonna I'm gonna let her in I think. I know I know I know I'm gonna get this wrong, but yeah. Uh, yeah I know she's uh she's underage, yeah I know I know I know. But I, I think close friends should be- Oh no, I forgot the fucking thing! Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot the fucking, uh, sauce. I thought I pressed it though. I guess it's sensitive, wait, wait. 
Okay, I'm getting confused because it's like too many things at once, I think. But it's also, I guess, multitask, you know, in a way. My god. Oh no! Expired ID? What in the fuck? No. Ah, damn it. I'm getting distracted, guys. I'm sorry. So, the Putin thing is kind of like distracting you in a way, because especially if you're not multitasking. You know? Move around now. Alright, I'll it's good to go. Don't scare me like that, man. Uh, I think because of how I started. A little, a little hard to get the second bonus, but I'm gonna try my best here. Yellow. Nice! Just got it in. Get the fuck out of my line. <laughs> ah, 16. Not enough in my opinion. Not enough. Well, 8 was the deadline, so I think I did pretty good. I did pretty alright. Well done. Well, I'm impressed as good as my grandson. He trained me back in Seattle. You did great, but you were shipping out there. Take this. You received an item. Varmint hat. You can change your clothes via inventory. Thanks, I can wear this to festivals too. So, where's the thing? Oh, okay, nice. Well, yep. Uh, I changed uh, the headpiece because it's going to be very cold in the night. So my friends and I are on our way to help Eduardo. Thank goodness, I'm glad my grandson has good friends. I need to bring his passport to Miami. He said you have it. It should be in my office safe. Let me check. Winifred retreated to the back room. She emerged a few minutes later, shoulders slumped in defeat. Goodness, it's gone. Jorge must have taken it. Can't imagine why. Jorge? Eduardo's cousin. He worked in the door for a night, then vanished. He even dropped this. He's so careless. Any idea where he is? Okay. Check around Chief's Chicken. He goes there a lot. I'll ask around too. Come back tomorrow to work and I'll let you know what I hear. Will do. See you tomorrow. Alright, so uh, episode 2 is going to stop at uh, the second part of the Mountie or the Grizzly. Uh, just because I had to settle some things uh, with uh, people. So... Uh, hey Shannon sent you a hundred dollars. You do know she's under 21, right? I know, I'm just worried about her and trying to help. Mm. Okay, stay safe. See you in Miami. Hey Kev, you know Edward's aunt? Don't even know. He had one. Why? I need her signature for some reason. I don't follow. To be honest, me neither. Gotta go. Well, that was shady. <laughs> Luck was on my side. The universe had led me straight to Eduardo's grandma, but working didn't leave much time for sleep. It takes toll. Uh, lose 10 health. I'm gonna lose a lot of health, man. I don't know why. What's gonna happen here? Um, it was freezing out. Good thing I wore the wet hat. 
your varmint hat helped her, see? So I needed the hat because it's cold, very cold. I needed to track down Jorge. I headed the chief's chicken. Three teenagers in edgy trench coats huddled together outside. I knew exactly what to do. Is your chicken meaty? They'll think I'm one of them now. Anyone here know Jorge? We plenty. We know plenty of Jorge's. We, which one are you looking for? Jorge Lopez. The comedian? No wait, I got his name la wrong. It's Jorge Suarez. We might know him. Why? His cousin's Edward. His cousin Eduardo's in trouble. Him too, huh? Two? Tell me something. Jorge mentioned anything about Camelot or Snaggledoodle? Snaggledoll to you? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm helping with that. Listen, we don't narc easily. But if you get some Putin, maybe I'll be willing to talk. How do I get you Putin? Get me into Mountie tonight, Boomer. I'm on it. I headed back to the Mountie. So, basically, uh, I need to let them in. And this is the second uh, ethical quandary, by the way. It's good to have you back, ready to work. More Putin to dish out tonight. Keep out those miners. Fake IDs are on the rise too. The picture, flag, explanation, or holograms can be spoofed. Ah, oh, fuck that shit. People are desperate for Putin? My Putin is just that good. By the way, has Jorge ever talked about a Camelot? New Camelot, yeah. We'll talk about it tonight. Not tonight, too. <laughs> Roll credits. Alright, let's go, let's go. I know the rules. You do too. Gotta keep the hat because it's gonna be very cold. Uh, yeah, that's all good to me. That's all good to me, man. Whew. I'm half expecting it to. Oh, fuck that. I didn't check the hologram. Damn it. That's oh, fine, that's fine. It's all good, man. It's all good. I checked everything. Alright, hologram. Fucking expired date. Alright, it's good. Yep. Oh, the flag. Ah, oh, shit. Well, at least. Uh, yeah, it's all good. Yep, yep, alright, let's go. Nine more, nine more. Oh! I had to, I had to. Okay, I'm not gonna let anyone else who has shit on their thingy. Is it? Ah. Uh, fuck you, get the fuck out of the line, man. Alright, let's go. Darling. I'm half expecting her to reject. Of my line, man. Yeah, go home. Jesus. Well, at least I gave him some. Okay. One more. 
Ah, get the fuck out of my line, man. Half an hour left. I'm the fucking bouncer. Who are you? She says. I think this is a soft open, so it's pretty alright. Yeah, it's good. Oh, nice. I managed to get 20. Alright, four more than the second bonus. So, two strikes, not too bad. Not too bad. Considering I was distracted. By the way, sorry, I'm not gonna add it. Uh, my dad just came in and gave me orange juice, so uh, all done. Wow, teach Jorge some of that gumption. I will if I find him. Here's your pay. So, what's new, Camelot? You knew it as Mount Rushmore, Amer America's stone faced prisons. They've been repurposed. Why do you ask about new Camelot? The kid at Chief's Chicken mentioned it. Said that Jorge's got a snaggle there or something. Well, there's the Camelot. Lunch theater. They're always looking for bouncers. If Jorge's there, he'll likely be working the door. Thanks for your help. The kid from Chief's Chicken was waiting for me outside. Sad fam, please stop. Sorry, how's your Putin? It was whatever. But Jorge, he's planning something big. We know that much. He went to New Camelot to get help from some wizard out there. A wizard? You heard me, Grams. The kid wandered off before I could ask more. Uh, I had a lead on Eduardo's passport. Time to go. Working didn't leave much for sleep. It takes a toll. Okay. Well. The cold was bitter, but my cap had, but my head kept me warm. Okay. So, uh, that's it for episode two. Again, very sorry about uh the disturbance. Uh, it won't happen in the next episode. I can assure you. Uh, but thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!